chapter 7 coordinate geometry part 4 so in this part we are going to see some more problems from exercise 7.2 you read the fifth problem find the ratio in which the line segment joining two given points 1 comma minus 5 and minus 4 comma 5 is divided by the x axis it is divided by the x axis where the line is dividing the x axis that means uh, any point on the x axis is y equal to 0. So, that concept you have to remember any point on the x axis y will be 0, right? Any point on the any point on the x axis, yes, x axis. Y equal to zero. Y will be zero. Is given, right? Is given. Therefore, let the required point be. Let the required point, required coordinate point be. Required point be. X comma zero because X coordinate you don't know, but Y coordinate will be zero. That is given, right? That's right. Then. Uh, the A given, B given, you draw the diagram. How to find, find the dividing coordinate? That is A, B. Here you see P divides in the ratio. You take as usual well, M is to N or K is to 1 also you can take. Uh, for our uh, my convenience, I am taking M is to N. Okay. Uniformly, all the problems I am used to take M is to N. In higher class, also, what I will take. M is to N. P divides AB internally in the ratio M is to N. Okay. So you take a A is a 1 comma minus 5 is given. Also B is a minus 4 comma 5 is given. Right. Now uh, what uh, easily we can find out P by using section formula. So P is uh, P is just class multiply minus 4 M. Yeah. Plus n plus n by n plus n. Next, y coordinate you cross one thing. Five m minus five n. Five m minus five n by m plus n. Okay, but p is also we know that x comma g x comma 0. Therefore, both are same. Both the points are equal. Equal means you can look at the coordinates. You can look at the coordinates. Therefore, x coordinate equal means uh, x is equal to minus 4m plus n by m plus n. And y coordinate you look at means 5m minus 5n by m plus n equal to 0. Now this one you cross multiply. This one cross multiply means 5m minus 5n equal to 0 or 5m equal to 5n or m by n equal to 5 by 5. So m is to n is equal to 1 is to 1. The ratio is 1 is to 1. Therefore x is you can find out. Therefore x is equal to put in this that is minus 4 plus 1 by uh, 1 plus 1 that is 2 that is minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 x is the point minus 3 by 2 therefore record point is record point is x coordinate first you write uh, minus 3 by 2 comma y coordinate is g So ratio, required ratio 1 is 1 and the required point is minus 3 comma, minus 3 by 2 comma 0, right? That will be asked in the problem. Find the ratio and also find the coordinates of the point of division, that is point of division, right? So like this easily we can uh, what, uh, uh, find out the ratio.
So next we will see the sixth problem, very very important problem, repeated questions in the board exam. Okay, the parallelogram problems are very important. Okay, so you read the problem. You for one comma two, four comma y, x comma six, and three comma five are the vertices of a parallelogram. Vertices of a parallelogram taken in order. Find x and y. Find x and y. Taken in order. Find x and y. So parallelogram is you know opposites are equal property clear opposites are parallel and equal one more property there diagonals are bisect each other that that only how to use in section formula diagonals are bisect each other that is very important problem in those parallelograms right so A B C D is a parallelogram and uh, the diagonal A C and B D intersect at the O. So you take the points lecture. The vertices you take are B, one comma two in order correctly. How to take B, four comma y, C, x comma six and D, three comma five. Correctly you take uh, in order. Now it is given A B C D is a parallelogram. It is given A B C D is a parallelogram. Given that means the diagonals property. You have to use the property diagonals bisect each other. Each other at O. Diagonal means A C and B. Okay, diagonals A C and B means each other bisect each other. Therefore, this meaning. What is the meaning? Diagonals are bisect each other at O means correctly divide this O divide A C into equal parts. Same way, same word that O dividing B D into equal parts. Understand? That is the meaning. Diag the bisect each other means uh, that is the meaning. Here, so here uh, now the O is nothing but midpoint. O is nothing but midpoint of A C and uh, O is also midpoint of B. Both are same. Midpoints are same. Therefore, you have to write here midpoint of midpoint of A C is equal to midpoint of B D. So this uh, step is very important, right? This step is very important. Midpoint of A C equal to midpoint of B D. You know, midpoint formula means all the uh, Add the x coordinates divided by two. Add the y coordinates divided by two. Right. Midpoint uh, formula. I'm easy you to remember. Add the x coordinate divided by two. Add the y coordinate divided by two. So I'm just one. A C. A you know. C you know. Right. Both the uh, x coordinate you add first. That is. Therefore, midpoint of A C is adding x coordinate. Okay. X plus one by two. Come on, then adding y coordinate two plus six by two. That's equal to now midpoint of BD. BD you take four plus three by two. Come on, y plus five by two. That's all. Okay, now you simplify this. X plus one by two. Come on. Here you see two plus a six is eight. Eight by two is four. Eight by two is four. That's equal to seven by two. Right as it is. Come on. Y plus five by two. Y plus five by two. Now two points are equal. Two coordinate points are equal means uh, corresponding coordinates are equal. That means uh, how to make uh, x coordinate equal and uh, y coordinate equal. That means first you write this x plus this implies x plus one by two is equal to seven by two. 
okay and immediately you write and y plus phi by 2 for our convenience both are equal okay first unknown you are writing then this you are equal to 4 right that is the way of writing now here you see both are denominator of same means in straight away you can cancel no need to cross multiply and then cancel both okay both the denominator of same means straight away you can cancel now x plus 1 equal to 7 so what x is equal to 7 minus 1 so x is equal to 6 you got it x now cross multiply here you can cross multiply. So y equal to eight minus five. Therefore, y equal to three. Y equal to three. Therefore, you read the question properly. Here, many students are doing uh, what wrong. What they will write final answer. Therefore, the required point is six comma three. They will write. That is not the answer. Okay. Here, you read the problem. What ask? Find the values. Okay. Find x and y. Therefore, values of. You can write the final answer like this. Values of. X and Y are six and three. Six and three. Here. So like this only how to write the answer. You should not write six comma three. Values of X and Y are six comma six and three. So not write six comma three. Okay. So easily you can do. You have to remember this uh, parallelogram property means. Very simple. This problem is very simple. Nothing. Okay. Then using midpoint formula. Midpoint formula means always you remember the concept. That is adding the s coordinate divided by two, adding the y coordinate divided by two. Understand? So now we will see the next problem, seventh problem. Read out the problem. Find the coordinates of a point A where A B is diameter. A B is diameter of the circle whose center is Center is two comma minus three and B is given. B is given. So what is O midpoint? It is correctly what center. Center means correctly what midpoint of A B. So you have to use midpoint formula. Okay. So solution. Let uh, we have to find out what uh, A. So let the required point be. Y that is x comma y u t x comma y u. Okay, B is given. B is one comma four. It's given. B is given, and center O is given. Center O is two comma minus three. Two comma minus three. Therefore. O is a midpoint of A. O is the midpoint of A. Okay. So midpoint formula used. Therefore, O is O is midpoint of uh, A B means O is nothing but O is nothing but midpoint of A B. Midpoint formula used. Both the x coordinate add one plus x divided by two. Come on, y coordinate add that is y plus four by two. But uh, o o is uh, also given, but o o is uh, given center that is minus two comma three is given. The both the points are same. Both the points are same means you have to make coordinates are equal. That means uh, both the points are same means one plus x by two. Equal to straight away also you can write okay x coordinate make equal y coordinate make equal for understanding purpose I am writing here you can write this straight away also okay both coordinate you make equal that means one plus x by two is equal to two and y plus four by two is equal to minus one plus x by two equal to two y plus four by two equal to minus three now transfer the value. One plus x is equal to four. X is equal to four minus one. X is equal to three. 
minus six minus six minus four equal to minus ten. Therefore, required point is here. The, what you can write x comma y. Okay, required point is three comma minus ten. Here the required point is three comma minus two. So very important uh, problem for we lost uh, two marks or one mark. Okay. Now we will see the next eighth problem. Later, if a and b are uh, minus two comma minus two and two comma minus four respectively, find the coordinates of p such that uh, instead of raising your condition. B, Instead of ratio, condition given, you how to make the ratio first using this. But uh, P lies on AB. So P is on AB. Draw the diagram. P is on AB. Okay. So let uh, P, you don't know, you have to find out P is the required point. P be the required point. We have to what find out the ratio first the using the condition that is A P equal to three by seven A B. Three by seven A B it is given. Okay, the meaning is uh, A P A P equal to three by seven. That means uh, what A P by A B is equal to three by seven. Okay. So A B means seven parts, total seven parts. A B is three part. A B is three part. So what will be B P? The remaining part that is four. Both add means you will get seven. That is the meaning. Understand? A P by A B. A B nothing but A P plus B. A P you know three, three by three plus B P we have to find out right. This is a uh, three by seven, right? So three three you cut to seven, therefore B P equal to four. Okay, B P plus three equal to seven, B P equal to four. No. This three, this one four. So the ratio is three is to four. Ratio is three is to four. Therefore P divides here. The Therefore, P divides A B <coughs> internally the ratio three is to four. The ratio three is to Understand three is to four. You have to find out the ratio. Then only you can apply the power. Here a is nothing but two. minus two comma two. B is nothing but two, two comma minus two. Now you apply cross multiply. Find out p. So cross multiply the x coordinate. Therefore p is a required point. P is what you will get. Three into two six minus four. Oh, sorry, minus eight by three plus four. Come on. Then uh, y coordinate minus twelve minus eight. That's equal to minus two by seven. Come on, minus twenty by seven. The required point. The required point. Understand? This is the required point. That's the required point is.
PS so very simple first you have to find out the ratio means easily you can solve this problem understand so next we will see one important problem ninth problem you just read out find the coordinates of the points which divides the line segment uh, joining the points a and b into four equal parts that means uh, do you see the diagram ab ab you take the line segment this three point c d e divides the ab in four equal parts this is one part one part okay this is also one part this is also one part so four equal parts four equal parts okay ac equal to cd equal to de equal to e eb okay so that you have to write let the required points be c d and e which divide the line segment ab into four equal parts right so a is given minus 2 comma 2 or b is given 2 comma 8 okay now what will be d how the d will be correctly what this this side uh, two equal part this side two equal part is correctly it is midpoint midpoint of a b therefore d is midpoint of a b means uh, you can easily find out d that is uh, just add the x coordinate divided by two add the y coordinate divided by two okay now d you have to write d is adding the x coordinate minus 2 plus 2 by 2 comma 2 plus 8 by 2 that is nothing but 0 by 2 comma 10 by 2 that is equal to 0 comma 5 so d is 0 comma 5 d is 0 comma 5 d is 0 comma 5 now you got it D, right? Now what you have to do is uh, C you can find out. So this is correctly two equal part means C is midpoint of AD. Therefore uh, C is uh, midpoint. Midpoint of AD. Therefore uh, C is uh, therefore C is uh, at the x coordinate minus two minus 2 plus 0 by 2 comma 2 plus 5 by 2 so what minus 2 by 2 comma 7 by 2 that is equal to minus 2 by 2 is minus 1 minus 1 comma 7 by 2 okay and here you see here also this side 2 equal part means e is midpoint of bd E is the uh, midpoint of B. E is midpoint of BD. Therefore, what is uh, E at the x coordinate of B and D? That means 0 plus 2 by 2, comma 5 plus 8 by 2. That is equal to 2 by 2 is 1. 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 by 2. Therefore, required points are first to see right. Understand? So, like this, uh, easily you can do. Therefore, required points of C, D, E, right? Okay. By using only midpoint formula, easily we can do. Next, we are going to see very important uh, problem. Tenth problem, very important. Okay. Read the problem first. Find the area of uh, rhombus if the vertices are th three comma zero, four comma five, minus one comma four, and minus two comma minus one are taken in order. That means you know how to draw the rhombus. All sides are equal. Rhombus means all sides are equal. The diagonals bisect each other at 
90 degree. Okay. Now rhombus, but in the question they ask you to find the area of rhombus. Area of rhombus means what? Off into product of the diagonals. Off into product of the diagonals. Okay. Area of the rhombus means off into product of the diagonals. That means uh, uh, distance formula. Using distance formula, you can find out AC and B. Because four vertices given. A you take, B, C, D given. Four vertices. You have to find out the length of AC means distance formula use. Length of BD you have to find out. So that AC equal to <coughs> AC you are finding means distance formula use. That is uh, subtracting the x coordinate that is 3 plus 1 whole square plus subtracting the y coordinate that is 4 minus 0 whole square so here uh, 4 square is 16 here 4 square is 16 therefore that is equal to root over 16 into 2 2 16 so 16 into 2 16 root means 4 root 2 now same way you have to find out bd Same way, find out BD. So BD is uh, nothing but uh, so BD is uh, nothing but uh, these two points. You have to subtract the x coordinate that is 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 the whole square plus 4 plus 2 the whole square plus. 5 plus uh, 1 the whole square. That means square top uh, 6 square plus 6 square. That is uh, 36 plus 36. Uh, here also what? Uh, 2 into 36. 36 root is 6. So 6 root 2 units. You write. Uh, now you know area of rhombus. Off into product of the diagonal that means AC into BD. We have AC here or root 2, 6 root 2, root into root is 2, 6 into 4 is 24. So 2 to get cancelled means 24 is square units. Area means you always write square units. Therefore, area of rhombus here. 24 square units 24 square units so same type of problem i will give it as homework you do the homework problems okay